Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is Monday, and for Mondays, remember, it's Super Film Support. You can send your emails to superfilmsupport.com, and I'll answer your film-related questions on a video if I know about it, or if not, I'll try my best to answer you through email. Um, a Patreon actually wrote me, and he's actually called like me, Nico, so thank you, Nico, for the question, asked me that I should maybe clarify from the previous couple videos uh, the differences in lenses and the CRNR and uh, Cineron and which ones they are, because in large format lenses, there are a couple of brands that made lenses and then there are a couple other brands that rebranded them. So kind of like a, a generic lens name. So I want to give you a little bit of a feedback so when you're searching, you don't get confused. And this is pretty confusing. So if you don't follow along, don't worry, I'll put the names under two so you can read it. I'll even like maybe put it on the description box. Also do remember these videos really are uh, for the passion of helping you guys. If you want to support this channel through Patreon, you can check the link below, but it's basically patreon.com Nico's Photography Show. You can help me make more stuff like this, uh, answering questions that are not so easily answered, uh, at least not on YouTube. Uh, this was on a forum. So I'm going to start by Roddenstock. Rodenstock had the Cironar uh, S, which is the probably best lineup of lenses there was. It had a red ring, as you can see on the front, and the Cironar S, C, C sorry, Cironar S was also branded by Cinar. And I told you this is going to be a little messy, so I might make mistakes. Just read it. So the Cironar S, the one I have here in Cinar name, was Cinar on. Altogether, Cineron SE, okay? Like the iPhone SE, similar. Uh, so that would be the brand that labeled them under Cinar. So if you were buying a Cineron uh, SE, you would be buying basically a Rodenstock uh, S, which is the best one you can get. Uh, they officially say that Cinar would handpick the lenses and make their own tests. You can take that with a pinch of salt. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I'm one to believe that they probably did minor checks, but nothing special. Then we go to the Cironar, uh, C, yeah, Cironar N, which is this one here. And this one usually comes with a white silver ring. This before that, so the Apple one would have the silver ring. That was branded by Cinar again, by Cinar, Cineron S. So that's where it gets confusing. The Cineron S by Cinar is not the Cironar S. I feel like I'm saying the same thing all the time. Um, so the Cineron by Cinar S is the second quality that's the same as Kaltar. So Kaltar are lenses that also are like a no-name brand or no official maker. So Kaltar 2N is the same lens as this one, as the Cironar N and the Apo Cironar N. So first in the class, second in the class, made by Cinar and made by Ronenstock. Um, or made by Ronenstock, labeled by Cinar. Then we have the uh, Apo Cironar W. Those are the wider field of view lenses. There's a couple of them. They're pretty rare and expensive. Also, Cinar took those into their lineup and called them again, Cinaron WS, wide and S. So again, if that helps you, that could be it. Then we have uh, the Rodenstock making, and I don't have any Rodenstocks here, but basically, the Grand Dagon N, which are the wide angle ones, are also called Kaltar 2N. Again, slightly confusing considering that they're the same as the Cironar N. And are also called by Cinar as Cinaron W. So the W only are the rod and stock. The WS are the, the rod and stock. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, rod and stock. And the, uh, I'm getting super confused here myself. Yeah, they're all made by uh, rod and stock. Sorry. Um, then we have the Cinaron WE, which is the Cinar, is the same as the Apo Grand Dagon, which are the wide angle lenses by Ronenstock. Then we have the Apo Cineron, which is usually the ones for reproduction, same, exactly the same as the Apo Roner by Ronenstock. Then we have the Macro Cineron, which is Cinar, but not made by Cinar, is the same as the Macro Cironar N, which I do have one somewhere there. Actually, I don't even know if this one's one of those. This is Apo Cimar. Um, then we have the Kaltar 2E is the same as the Gironar. The Gironar lenses usually are, I think there's a 210 f 6.3. There's a couple. 
they're pretty good performers, usually cheaper size. So if you're buying something a little cheaper, a Kaltar 2E or, C or Generar, Geronar are inexpensive. And uh, he also says here, Kaltar S Type S is the same as Cironar if you're looking at older lenses. And honestly, this is all super confusing. Uh, I'm gonna leave the text because it's not easy to understand. Believe me, when you're looking for that, you wanna make sure that usually you double check a couple times, look into the large format photography.info forum. It's full of good information, also full of some people that are sometimes quite angry and know a lot and it's hard to get into, but you can read. It's a good consultation forum. I highly recommend it. And yeah, if you're buying a lens for large format, make sure you Google a little bit. You watch this video, hopefully, and you understood something from it. I'll leave the text under. I hope it's right because I'm getting this from someone that's a moderator in this forum, so I'm guessing it's right. I Again, I haven't checked exactly one-on-one -on -one if they're exactly the same lens, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Remember the Superfilm support. I'm here to try to help you out with film-related questions through superfilmsupport.com. And once again, I wanna thank those people on Patreon to support the show if you wanna join those people. It really helps a lot for me making this content for you guys. Thanks for watching and see you next Monday. Bye.